Okay, we're on. That's it. Oh, I, j I just heard from uh, Adrian, so he uh, per perhaps he'll join us. All right. Okay. Opening, perhaps. Uh, well, he just. <laughs> I just. He hasn't said if he's joining us. Uh, he says I'm not able to join right now. Something blocked in my presence. Okay, so no, Adrian. Okay. Okay. And we'll just we'll just soldier on. Uh, okay. Right. So let's see the uh, the agenda I had up to this point was uh, right. There's, there's the first one was the um, pull request for the RFCs converted to slips uh, changes that I made, which I got three looks good to me's on, so I went ahead and integrated that. It's not code anyway, so if anybody has any uh, uh, remaining concerns or if there's any inaccuracies, I'll just put them right in a separate uh, in a separate pull request. Okay. So yeah. those those are now up there. Uh, so we're we're legit, we're legit now. We have a, an actual slip process. Is Did you have anything? Is that part of the uh, Scala documentation site? I should just Google it. Huh? Oh, no, that's the next thing. I, I've got that on my to-do list. Probably, uh, in fact, I'll probably do that on the plane on the way back. Okay. Is right now the, um, the, Scala, the Scala language site still has the old slip process, which is the very similar to the SIP process documented. Uh -huh. uh, and I think probably what I'm going to do is rip out most of that, uh, revert it to the way it was before, and then say this this process is for SIPs and for slips go to the GitHub uh, repo instead and read yeah. the instructions there. So that should be a pretty uh, easy easy change to make. Okay. I, I think it should also say that the slip process is, you know, being considered for replacing the existing SIP process because I think everyone is going to have that question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's already come up on the slip channel today. Uh, but I don't know what your feeling is. I think I'd like to see how it works a little bit before we rip out the the SIP process as well. Yeah, sounds sounds good. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we... It's not like SIPs don't have a way of being done right now, so um, and uh, you know it's one that's been been used in the past. So I do think that will probably something like that will probably be the end game. But also, it just seems like it's best not to hurry this. Uh, you know, with with all of us being busy with other work, uh, we can we can make it more gradual. And so the the other thing was as, as well as the um, pull request that I put in, I did actually take. SIP 22, which is the async one that uh, Jason uh, and Philip put, put in. And I did the conversion on that, which took 10 minutes. It's, it's a very easy conversion from a, a SIP to a SLIP. Uh, but I want to pass that file on to them, because I think one of them needs to submit it in order for us to really try out the process as it's supposed to be tried out. OK. So I'll send that to. Uh, it's, do you know if if is it Jason or Philip that's sort of the primary one behind that? Uh, I don't know. So J Jason was the primary one behind the implementation. Okay. Uh, but I don't know who who wrote this. Uh, I'll send it to both of them and let okay. them sort it out. There, that's the yeah. easiest thing. Yeah. Uh, so that's good. Okay. If you want some help with the documentation site updates, uh, I'm available, so feel free to ask. Okay, that sounds good too. Uh, I don't think it'll be. I, I really don't think it'll take me very long because uh, mostly I added a bunch of slip stuff, and now I can just pull it out and say for slips, for Scala, Scala library stuff, go here instead, mm -hmm. uh, and it should just be the the pointer to the the GitHub. Yeah. But uh, okay, thanks, Seth. Definitely, um, definitely will do. Okay. Uh, Bill Venners is uh, interested in running through the process, so that I think will come through in the next, uh, hopefully before the next meeting. I'll touch base with him when we get back to the states. Uh, when I get back to the states, uh, but he wants to start looking at the possibility of the validation stuff. I think. Okay. Uh, and then there's oh yeah that, that that was actually the next item was changing the SIPs so the idea of a proposal oh now that was the one that was what you and uh, 
Adrian told me about Martin in um, Amsterdam is the concept that right now have the impression that if they submit a SIP and it's accepted, it will be done. And some people have the impression that if they submit a SIP and it's accepted, they have to do all the work. But there's the possibility of a third option, which is they submit a SIP and they get other people involved in helping them implement it. Yeah, yeah. So the idea of having a, a, a difference between proposal and accepted to see if there's enough um, groundswell of support to actually get it moving. Yeah. So so that's basically why the sort of milestone for a set. So you can uh, so there's the first milestone to actually kind of accept it into the set thing. So that means it gets a number. And uh, and when it has a number it can stay in the system for a while. And that's sort of the period where you can flash it up. So essentially to to, to hit the first bar uh, we just have to uh, be convinced that it's worthwhile to pursue, not not yet that it's ready to be implemented. It's really, you should say, okay, that's the thing we want to pursue. Uh, we, we think it's worthwhile to pursue. And then, of course, we typically don't have the resources to do ourselves, so uh, somebody in the community has to get together and do it. And then I think the implementation is part of part of the uh, the required bar for then the acceptance of the set. Okay. There's actually a third one. Uh, so essentially, there are three bars. First bar is it gets a number, and uh, that means we are. It will be in, in the pipeline. We will look at it. We will follow it. Uh, uh, it, it has. Uh, it should be. It should have a community that drives it. That's number one. So that distinguishes a SIP from just a proposal that somebody floats on the mailing list. Um, and Number two is uh, it gets accepted, and that means it must have an implementation at that point. So I think you cannot, if something involves an implementation, the implementation must be there. Or I mean, all parts of the SIP must be, must be ready for it to be accepted or not. And then the third one is it gets integrated in a particular style release. And that's for me, and that's also sort of part of the prior balance. I, I, I started with my thesis. That's sort of the third one, which is um, uh, again something that, that is probably independent from number two. Okay. So I believe we should be able to accept the SIP without having it already in a, a master for uh, color version 2.8 or something like that. Okay. But okay, so do we need any changes for that now, or shall we just hold off until we? Know what the bigger picture is for kind of SIPs, and the, the what the SIP process will look like. I, I don't think we need to decide now. I think we can just let them do their course and see what happens, and what people will, will say to them, and things like that. Okay, that and, sounds. And, that and, sounds fine. and to to answer your initial question about um, proposals that you know aren't implemented yet or need to gather support, that we do have the postponed status for that, so that that's a, there is an existing bin where something like that could go. It looks like we're we're not ready for this to actively move forward because it hasn't, um, you know, it's 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 not ready yet. Okay, that sounds yeah, that sounds fine. Um, is there also a status for six in work or something like that? In six. Work done? I don't know. Yeah. So I, I just compared to the JCP, and so essentially that was sort of the timeline of the JCP. So I modeled my 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 my, okay. my progression from the JCP. So JCP, if you get a JCP accepted, and it means there's a committee that which we don't have. So so there is actually a committee that will. Uh, uh, move that forward. To get it accepted, you need a draft of what you're going to do, but not the final number. And then the committee does its work, and then it submits essentially its final work, which must include an implementation to, uh, I think, the JCP board or to the JSR. As a, well, that's a good question. No, they must vote. With, yeah, that's different. They, the, 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 the committee's per JSR votes that they are finished. Yeah. And, yeah. But then for the releases, it's, it's again a different hurdle. So there's a, essentially another, another co uh, committee that, it, that decides when to integrate which SJS out into which releases. Right. They needed a, um, they needed, they, they required a reference implementation and then also a, um, 
testing compliance kit or whatever yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. So there could be other implementations. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know what that would... I, I, yeah, I, I think that in time we might need something like that, but I would imagine at least to start with there will just be the one implementation that people use, so I, yeah. I'm not sure we'll need the um, TCK stuff. Yeah, but I mean, so, so the question is, should we have another label except for spawn to say underwork or yeah. uh, in progress or something like that? Well, labels are easy to add, so yeah, that's yeah. that's easily done. Yeah, we could we can uh, because we postpone can... postpone is probably something like uh, what was that like um, the uh, the source context or uh, no source context got rejected. Oh, the uh, the syntax improvements to uh, SIP twelve or something like that that got postponed, but that's sort of not not under work. That's just so sort of to say, well, we wait for another time when you might want to come back to that. Okay, that sounds good. So, um, yeah, that's it for the uh, list of things. I, I think um, th the discussion of what to do with SIPs we can uh, sort of do more gradually and uh, uh, yeah. not necessarily in this meeting, but we'll we'll chat about it on the, on the Slip channel, I guess, for now. Uh, I think from what everybody said, it does sound like it would be good to get it out of the Scala documentation site and into it into a Git repo just for the kind of uh, lightness of the process but that's yeah. yeah we can we can definitely um, uh, discuss that uh, I found, I found yeah. my feet burden some to submit those two chips now so yeah. right yeah. I saw that and that's that's the exciting thing so uh, yeah Martin just submitted two sips uh, let me check them uh, they are it's on the I guess uh, we'll put the channel, the channel. Yeah, it's it's a pull request. Where are the pull? Where's the pull request number here? Uh, it's yeah, repeated by name is one of them, and uh, trait parameters. But uh, the trait parameters one, I I I grokked immediately and thought that's really exciting. The uh, sip. Oh, sorry. The uh, the first one, the um, repeated by name. I I get what's going on there, but I wondered what that would look like when you actually define a by name function. Uh, does it require the use of the expansion uh, operator, the colon underscore star, to, to re return something that uses that? It's, as, it's exactly as if it wasn't done now. So okay. If you have a repeated parameter and you pass one to three to it, uh, then it will be wrapped in a, in a, in a sequence and, and, and passed. But if you want, if you already have a list, then you have to write access colon underscore star. Uh, so it's before, and it doesn't matter whether it's by name or by value. Okay. So it's really it's not it's not a big deal, really. It's just no, a, no, it's just yeah, no, that's an, uh, uh, an unnecessary restriction of what we had so far. Uh, I have Did you see these, Seth? Um, y yes. Uh, although I, ha I haven't had much time to think about them yet, since I yeah, but I I saw them right before the meeting. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think so, probably. What what we should do here is uh, since these are the first sips, uh, and uh, that was the other thing, uh, of course, is slip. Sorry, sip twenty two is actually a slip as we've discussed before. It's a library change, and what I did for that after the um, I, I put the new changes in, uh, the uh, the new documentation in, and I actually converted a, a sip that that sip to a slip. Uh, to see, and it took like 10 minutes. It's very, very quick to do. Yeah. But yeah. I thought rather than me um, submitting it, it probably should come from either Philip or Jason, since they're the uh, yeah. the originators of it. Yeah. So I'm going to send them the file and sort of tell them, basically all they have to do is put it in the right directory with the right name and submit a pull request. Yeah. And then we can run through the process with that. But we can also, I think, um, maybe the SIPs, uh, the two SIPs, we start a public review right now uh, and say give it like two weeks and expect any comments to be done within that two week period. Um, is that that sound okay with you guys? Sure. So, uh, do, do they need to be assigned numbers? Yeah, probably. Oh, well, um, unless, unless we want to dismiss them because they, we would say we're not interested in that. That's actually a great question. Do we assign numbers now, or do we wait for a two-week review uh, on the pull requests and see 
if they, for any reason, if they get rejected before giving them numbers? Yeah. I thought, uh, I thought the, uh, well, I'm not really sure what, what our current policy is. I thought our policy was essentially uh, we have to convince the subcommittee that it's worthwhile pursuing, or at least one member. So since uh, that probably means anyone who's already <laughs> in the subcommittee can just <laughs> say, <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the one member that, that's needed. Okay. To propose it. And uh, and then it would get a number, and then uh, essentially, but then it could like there could be a much longer review period, or um, maybe some artifact, some things are missing, or things like that. Until so the number is essentially that's a proposed solution, and then at some point they get postponed or rejected or accepted or so. Okay, so if we assign them numbers right, uh, did, did, so do you want to assign them numbers now? Sorry, I, I, they they were. The um, uh, signal's breaking up a little bit for me here, yeah. so I, ha I had trouble hearing the end of that. But well, maybe we can have a quick call that uh, somebody thinks that this shouldn't be a, a sub, uh, and and they, they are. I mean, except these are private, so they are potential objections why these shouldn't be six. Uh, but if everybody's okay with them, then let's just make them six and give them numbers. Okay. But since we are just three of us, maybe we can have a quick call of the others whether they are objections. To make them a sip that needs to discuss them further. I don't have any objections. Yeah. Um, okay. yeah. It just, I guess. I think so the numbers they would get, looking at what we've got right now, the entire. So we're up to sip 23. Okay. So they'd probably be 24 and 25, okay. I think. But we can just make them sips. I think we don't need to ask everybody. Yeah. If we agree. Yeah. So, so here's the potential snag with that. So both of these are have been, uh, implemented in Dotty, as it says. So they are, in fact, in Dotty, we, we, what, what, I tried, what I started to do is just make them issues in the issue tracker, give them a the, the language enhancement. And uh, so it took me no time at all, because I just copied the markdown file, added the SIP header, and that was it. So, yeah. um, um, the, um, so they have been implemented, so there is a reference implementation. Oh, cool. But I don't know what, um, whether and when there could be a reference implementation for Scala C. Uh, for repeated by name, that doesn't seem to be a big deal. For trade parameters, that's probably a very big deal. So it might even be at current, at current technology levels. Um, Impractical in order to, to implement that for C. Okay. Uh, so that's sort of then a, a question. I, I quickly talked to Adrian, and he was very supportive of the idea. And he said, well, we don't want to drop, drop the uh, a new Scala is in one big block to essentially say, buff off, that's it. Uh, but oh, yeah. it would actually be good to say, well, it's a sort of language test. We submit them bit by bit, and then the SIP process, we call it a process for that. Uh, Yes, I think, I think that's community involvement and things like that. But there's that's this part that we are, we're actually not committed. I'm not committed to put this in Scala C, and I'm not very, I'm not sure whether anybody else is. I <laughs> got I'm it. To in Scala C that's that's sort of the snack behind it. No, I think I think that's a, a good lesson to learn from the Python community and other ones where they uh, they allow yeah they they trickle down the changes that they can from bigger future releases and yeah. uh, get people. Get people trying them out and using them. So yeah, I think that's, I think that's good. So if somebody wants to put them into, into into the current Scala C code base, uh, that would be fantastic. Of course, it's just that right now we don't have. And, and maybe proposing this it means that somebody will step forward and say, well, look, this, this looks like a cool idea. Let me implement it. I want to have it now, uh, and that would be great. But uh, so far, that that person. I, I don't know of any such person right now. That's, that's sure. Yeah. Okay, so uh, are we going to go with uh, SIP24 for repeated uh, by names and uh, SIP25 for trait parameters? Sure, let's do that. Let's okay. okay. Yeah, I, I, th I think it's good to have the numbers just because it facilitates discussion. People it does. Can ha have a little tag to refer to them. Yeah, yeah, I think it needs to, the, the bar to get accepted as a SIP needs to be fairly low. So essentially, we only want to rule out sort of 
proposals from some individual that have no backing from the community and that are just too much work and that have a cut of the pipeline. So those, I, I don't think, I think we should just reject out of hand. But if, if something has potential merit, then we should accept it and put it, put it on our yeah. Okay. So, so Dick, w once uh, you've assigned the numbers, um, I, I guess that we'd be ready to publicize them, right? Um, do you want to send an email to Scala internals, and then I could uh, I could do a tweet from the Scala team about each one, also. Yes, I think that's good, and uh, I think we should have at least a two-week review period. I was actually thinking about that since we're a week late with our um, meeting this month because we missed last week because everybody was traveling back from Scala cool. days, of course. Uh, I wonder if we want to do, and it's going to take me probably until Monday to get the uh, uh, these changes up and, and stuff. I'll do some of it on the plane on the way back, but I won't be connected. So maybe uh, we do like a three-week review period, and then uh, if there are any comments, and I hope there are, I hope people get involved with the process, uh, that will line up nicely with the next slip meeting. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'll, I'll look for your email to Scala internals, and then uh, I'll, I'll, you know, do some further publicity once you've sent that. Yeah, yeah, and uh, we'll obviously mention it on the Slip channel as well. And you know, at least for now, I think the Slip channel is going to be communication for SIPs as well. Uh, we we still have to decide when if we if we make SIPs the, uh, a GitHub repo as well whether we actually separate the channels SIP and SLIP or whether we try and combine them somehow. Combine. Yeah, there's a lot of crossover here, yeah. so... And it's the same people handling both, right? Yeah, it's, well, at least for now, I mean, that's the other thing is um, we're taking very slow steps here. The the aim for this really ought to be that it, it's very arbitrary who's on the panel right now, and we should probably try and, over time, Come up with some mechanism where you know uh, people are actually uh, sought from the community or volunteer from the community, uh, but all of that is on you know uh, as as I said to John Pretty, uh, having a, uh, something crappy in place to start with is better than nothing at all. Yeah, exactly. uh, and then we, we can improve it over time. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah, that's 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 actually something we should discuss in in, in, in maybe in the next meeting. Who uh, who else to approach for joining the committee. Yeah, I mean, yeah. N n especially now that my status has, has changed, so in, until uh, until recently I, I, I was, uh, you know, a community representative and now I'm now I'm a type safe representative, so it would, would be nice to, to find a, a, another community person, uh, you know, re regardless of, of whether I stay or go. And, well, I suppose Martin is sort of uh, bridging the gap between EPFL and type safe, but uh, we probably want to look for somebody who's EPFL as well, uh, yeah. another EPFL person or something. Yeah, so. I, I actually proposed uh, Sebastian because he would also cover the JS side. So that's a really good suggestion, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that's going to be that's going to be increasingly important, and it's yeah. also something that's easy to overlook as well. Exactly. Uh, yeah. We're we're all used to thinking JVM, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. So, so who's the current who's the current members? Uh, right, um, on paper at least Heather is, but she hasn't made it to one of the meetings yet. Okay. Heather Miller. Uh, let me see who's uh, the actual eight names in the slips. Aaron Houston also is, but I've managed to f or failed to get a hold of him uh -huh. at all. Uh, so I think he might be unfortunately out of the um, the thing. Let me just pull up the circles here. Uh, people. Right, the full list of names. Uh, no, that's the wrong one. Sorry. Almost there. People. So there's Adrian, uh, Josh, yeah. that's two, uh, Seth, you, Martin, me, Heather, Aaron, um, that's seven. Who's the... Oh, the eighth person is the Scala Slip uh, actual process uh, account <laughs> right now. So that's that's where I was getting that from. I'm like, yeah, who's number eight? So um, anyway, that's that's our list right now. All right. All right. But yeah. it would be good to have, yeah. 
Oh, there we go. I finally found it. Oh, also, we have um, Kathleen and Laura. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I think that I think they're mostly helping with the administrative side of things. But uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. We probably should have somebody from the Fellow.js side. So I think that's a great idea. And I mean, Sebastian would be one possibility, but that would, that would again, uh, give us more in GFL. Because uh, Heather is also in GFL. That would be two GFL, plus myself. Yeah, and then we need to start thinking about uh, uh, community community people with the right temperament, definitely. So. Yeah. Before, before we... Uh, yeah, yeah, we actually that. I thought yeah, we also last week, we also have to pe uh, find people who are willing to uh, uh, you know put in put in the effort and serve as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. Let's let's keep let's keep looking. But you're right. We have to strengthen the outside community. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I think unless you guys have anything else, that's it from uh, for me from for me from this one, and I've got the action items to take forward of updating the Scala uh, Lang site to basically point people, just rip out a bunch of the slip stuff and, and point them at the uh, slip place, uh, assign those two slip numbers or SIP numbers, sorry, and uh, uh, let people know. Uh, publish them on Scala internals and let people know that there's a three-week review process okay. for them. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Cool. Excellent. Hey, um, Dick. One more publicity question. Um. Uh. So the tweets are easy to write. Maybe this, there should be a whole blog post. Um. W would that be on the TypeSafe blog or? You know, that's that's on my list too. <laughs> <laughs> I got so many things I uh, I have on the list that I'm just not getting to yet. Uh, but there is the Scala blog, and I think we should revive that. There's uh, there's a blog on the Scala site. Yeah, that's right. That, that's the right thing to do. Yeah. And uh, it's it's been on my list to revive it. But then I also get the question. Uh, you know, I, I as soon as I think that I think it's uh, again one of the problems there is it's a fairly heavyweight process to submit. Um, uh, Blog posts on there, and I wonder whether we don't want to eventually want a lighter weight, you know, faster, faster turnaround time for blog posts. Yeah, but yeah. it'll do for now. Uh, yeah. I'll just put the, I'll start this. You mean you have to um, and do a pull request for what's the? Right, right. Yeah. And I think with stuff like um, blogging, I don't know, but it's not code, so my uh, yeah. my my tolerance for for that goes down, and my my wish for something that's just very quick to react goes up, uh, but anyway, yeah, for now it'll do. Let's. Uh, you took like trusted people commit rights to the type, right? Yeah, and um, that that would that would work. I think uh, that it, it is the whole of the Scala Lang site, though. I think that they'd be getting commit rights to right now. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, if they're trusted, they're trusted, I guess. It's not it's not the code, but no. I think they're separate. Um I don't know actually. I'll 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 check into that. Okay. I, can... yeah. I, I think the PRs are fine actually. If if there's someone who wants to write a blog post who's not technical enough to do a PR, they can just ask somebody somebody it's not Yeah, that's true. Okay. okay. Yeah, the the main thing is that it's not clear from the site uh, that what what's the way for that we have to fork. That's that, that, that I think is the main the main thing. Yeah, that's uh, that, I think that's the barrier to entry right there is even how you do it. I haven't looked at it yet, so uh, no. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I guess that's coming this week. I'll figure out how to do it and then I'll document it. Okay, great. All right. Okay. All right, I think that's it. Good. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Talk to you in a while. Yeah. Okay. And I'll um. I, I the the one last the one thing before closing I was going to say is uh, as we found in this one it's actually quite hard to set up a, a Google Hangouts on air and invite you guys ahead of time. I just wasn't able to find a way to do it, and I wasn't able to. Uh, uh, Josh doesn't know us of a way either. So basically, we can publicize the event, give people a link ahead of time that they can watch it on. But the actual invitations are only created when you create the channel for the participants. 
So I think that's going to be the way it just continues for a while. And, and okay. I'll keep looking, but I, I can't see that they let you do that. Okay. Do we have actual watch lists for these things, or are we just going... We, uh, right now, we don't. We have had in the past. I think it's just a funky time, and I'm going to... Oh, that's the other thing I'm going to do, is set up a Scala Slip calendar that people can subscribe to as well. Okay. And put the, put the meeting on there so that they can actually see it on their calendars as well. I think it's going to be a slow start, but I hope that this will actually, you know, get established and get momentum, this, okay. this process. So. Sounds good. All right, at least everything's recorded. So. Okay, good. good. All right, guys. So have a good trip back. Thank you. Yes, I will. And uh, I'll talk to you, well, I'll talk to you on the Slip channel yeah. over the next few days anyway. Okay, great. All right. Cheers. Okay, See bye. Ya. Bye.